You made it past Golgoroth in the jumping puzzle, and now it's time to take on the daughters. This encounter takes place in the same room that you will fight orcs in, so many of the skills you learn here are transferable. First off, when you first enter the room, you'll notice that there are four plates. The way we numbered these is, if you think about PlayStation controller or something like that, if the portion of the room you just entered through the door, we would consider one, and the area where Oryx will show up will be two, which will be at the end of the room, then we labeled them L1, L2, R1, and R2. As far as roles in the counter, you'll have one person taking each plate, right? And then you have two floaters, one in the back, towards where you came in, and one in the front, and we'll talk about what they help out with a little bit later. Wherever the knight showed up, whether it's whatever plate it is, have someone go ahead and kill that and get onto that plate. What's going to happen then is that person is going to be able to see the second plate that someone needs to jump on to complete a series of platforms that the person who's torn, the person who's torn, looks like a ghost, has to run through to get to the next piece of the encounter. So first person takes out that take a knight, they get up on the plate, they call out where the other plate is that someone has to jump into, that fills in the platforms, the person who's torn goes through and jumps through the platforms, gets to the end, and then jumps down. One of the key things is, is if one of the people who are on the plates that actually need to be stood on are torn, then one of the floaters will cover that plate, right? Because obviously you can't do both. You can't stay on that platform and do both. Do this a total of three times. On the third time, there will be a little bit of a difference. When you get up towards the top, one of the things you'll notice is that you'll have something to interact with that's a buff you have to pick up. You will need to take that buff and dunk it on the daughter that's shooting at you. Once you do that and you dunk that, your fire team can then start doing DPS to the bosses. One other important thing to note is that once you get that buff, even though they can start doing damage, you will have an invincibility shield around you while you're doing damage. If you're the person that got the buff, basically took, dunked it on the daughter and came back. So it's important for the person who has Invincibility Shield to get back to the rest of the fire team because once you're complete with this portion of the encounter, go to the next encounter, you will get wiped or die if you're not within that shield and that's gonna play a key role in the next encounter as well. One thing as far as DPS strategies, I don't have uh, footage of it here because I just didn't record it, but one thing in this video, you'll see me actually doing it from the back of the room, that's how we did at the very beginning, but one thing you might want to do is stand on the platforms and use Warcliff Coil and Divinity. That really melts these out pretty quickly. So that would be my recommended strategy, not what you see in this video. Again, your fire team will do damage. Now, you either need to take the daughter you have completely out or take her to the point where she has a little bit of damage. Because here's the thing. Once you take one out, on the next phase, you have to take the other one completely out. So it's a high risk, high reward strategy. But if you're comfortable with your damage, go ahead and take it out. If not, take it up as much as you can without completely killing it and then the loop continues. So again, you'll do the same techniques, same sequences. You'll take turns, you know, taking the shields off the different daughters and killing them. Once you have finished that and done enough damage to take both of them out, you'll have completed the encounter and you'll be able to move on to Oryx. And that's really the entire encounter. Once you're complete with this, stay in the same room because Oryx, their father, is going to show up and you need to kill him. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and check my Discord. And again, if this helps you get a completion, feel free to comment in the comments because I'd love to hear comments from you guys. I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.